going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. We're going to be talking about trusting God today and what a powerful, powerful topic because if you don't have trust even in a relationship especially a relationship with heaven then you're just in trouble so anyways remember to call the prayer lines as we're going through this show 307-637-PRAY that's 7729 please don't go through things alone mm -hmm. don't go through things alone because the devil will just beat you up and he'll tell you you're the only one in the whole world uh dealing with this and going through this when millions of others are yeah. so just don't go through it alone and let him beat you up and beat you down and make you feel lesser than because he's just a liar a thief he come mm -hmm. to kill steal and destroy and but jesus come to give life and life abundantly and you have life and life abundantly yeah. so rise up come on rise up That's and right. rebuke that devil today okay yes. Yes. i'm charlene back to mirroring your god's view host <laughs> thank you so much for joining us if you were clicking through the channels and have never seen us stay right there you won't be sorry god did that for a reason that was a divine appointment for you right now that you found us okay he's got something for you so stay right there stephanie besh priscilla pruitt and lana garner yay, yay. we're back <laughs> and um happy birthday to god's view it's our 16th birthday uh, we will be 17 years old in, in um, 2024, and but right now, and that's just a couple of months. Wow. You know, there's that difference, you yes. know. Yes. But um, anyway, 16 mm. years old, going Crazy. around the Incredible. world with the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ, changing lives, and God has been so faithful and mm. so good. We started with 68,900 and some people, and now we're like over the billion mark. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And Amazing. I mean, that's our God. That's our God. Well, and there's probably... He did it. There's probably, you know, over a couple billion, but, you know, and that's not to brag. It's to say what God has done. Amen. Look mm -hmm. what God has done. Yes. And he keeps doing it, and he's done it again. Cheers to us another year on the air. That's right. Praise Thank God. You, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I'm blessed to be a Who wants to go? Oh, I, I want to talk about this <laughs> okay. one. This one's so okay. fun. So All I right. like to say it this way. So we're talking about the, the scripture where it says, some trust in chariots, some trust in, oh, my gosh, it just, Horses. Horses. <laughs> but we will trust in the Lord our God. It just went away. Um, but we can say it this way. Some trust in hospitals. Some trust in medicine. Yeah. Some trust in the internet, in textbooks. Some trust in podcasts, in mm. pastors, in theology. Some yeah. trust in their 401ks, in their assets, in their savings. But we up here, but I will trust in the Lord our yeah. God. Amen. And so the point is that everything on earth, knowledge, money, hospitals, medicine, our homes, our cars, all of it is temporal. All of it can fail yeah. you. The only thing that will this. never, right. ever, 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 ever <laughs> fail you is the Lord our God. Mm. In the New Testament, in John 11, we read about Lazarus, who was the friend of Jesus, and he became very sick and he died. Doctors and hospitals, none of them could save him. He was dead for four days when Jesus showed up, and they were all weeping and crying, and even yeah. Jesus wept. Because yes. he was moved with compassion and he too loved Lazarus. But Jesus knew who had the final word. And he went to the, to the tomb and he literally called out with all power and authority. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. Mm -hmm. And Lazarus wow. walked. He walked out right out. And the story of Gideon is another perfect example. Gideon doubted his ability. He doubted that God um, yeah. knew what he was doing mm -hmm. when he called him a great and mighty man of valor. But the Israelites were in dire situation. They were in a dire oppression situation by the Midianite army. The Midianites mm -hmm. were powerful. They were oppressive. And Gideon belonged to this small, tiny, weakened tribe. Mm -hmm. And he was afraid to lead this fight against this mighty army that was compared to the sands on the seashore. Mm -hmm. So it was that big. Mm -hmm. And, as, and as, as if that isn't scary enough, God took Gideon's army of 30,000 and dwindled it down to 300. Gideon couldn't trust in his horses. He couldn't trust in his chariots. He couldn't trust in his armor. He couldn't trust in anything but the word that God gave him. Yeah. And what happened? He trusted the Lord and the Lord showed Gideon how to defeat the Midianites. The men surrounded their camp at night carrying a torch hidden inside a pitcher and a trumpet. They didn't even have to fight, like fight. 
and at a signal, they simultaneously broke the pitchers, revealing the torchlight, and blew their trumpets. That sudden noise and light and the appearance of a large force created this confusion and fear among the Midianites. And it started them, like they started fleeing and turning on each other and killing each other and fighting one another. That's the power of God, that we don't have the ability or the know-how or even the wisdom of how to conquer a situation that we might be in. But he knows exactly how to do it. You don't even have to break a sweat. Mm -hmm. That is God. You don't have to trust in your abilities. You don't have to trust in your money. You don't have to trust in your government. You don't have to trust in your disabilities. Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. only need to trust in the Lord your God and what he tells Mm -hmm. you to do. Oh, I feel this presence of God Mm -hmm. in this. (laughs) He is talking to you right now. Whatever it is, whoever is watching, he is talking to you. And it's not by coincidence coincidence that you are even Mm -hmm. watching today. He is speaking to you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Amen. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah. I did too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I love is trust is an action. It's obedience. Super. You know, in a sense, yeah. you yeah. know, he, he, he gives us his trust. He's the God mm-hmm. we can trust. Cause That's right. It says that man will disappoint. God won't. Mm-hmm. And it says that God is, is a God that will not lie. Mm-hmm. He will not lie. He cannot lie. Yeah. It's cannot. not in him. And so when you have that in front of you and you have that on the inside of you, and then you have, um, the Holy Spirit, who's the spirit of truth on the inside of you, you understand trust a little more. Mm-hmm. And That's just right. in practical, I feel like somebody's watching and just thinking, I, I still don't get it. Like, how do you just trust? Like, I can't see God right in front of me. I can't touch him right in front. Right. And yes, we have the presence of God that overwhelms us, just like mm-hmm. we're speaking and the anointing comes upon us, the yes. Holy Spirit. But yeah. trust is something that is an action. Mm-hmm. And I remember many, many years ago, in a, in a simple thing of trying to get a message prepared to the first time to ever teach in a Bible study class. <laughs> and I was so afraid and I grew up in the church. That doesn't matter. No. Right. You, yeah. you still have to yeah. put yourself out there. You have to have faith in him. That's yeah. right. And I remember he, he just asked me cause I was just crying and he goes, do you trust me? And I said, yes, I trust you. And he said, do you trust me? And when I said, yes, I do, I just broke out in tears. And I said, God, I don't think I do. I I thought I did because it's something that was always told. It was something that was taught. But did ever, did ever I, I in myself go, I trust God. I'm going to move forward in that. I don't have to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Because God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, which is part of trusting. And once I spoke it out and I repented, God, you're right. I was so full of fear. Mm -hmm. I wasn't leaning on you. Mm -hmm. I didn't trust you the way I should. Mm -hmm. And when I did that, something over just overwhelmed me, his presence. And I went, I do trust you. Now, that doesn't mean I didn't shake and I didn't think to myself, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And, but I did it afraid. Mm -hmm. And then that fear had to leave Mm -hmm. and trust Mm -hmm. grew on the inside of me. So Proverbs 3, 5 says, to trust in the Lord means more than believing in who he is and what he says, okay? So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he Mm -hmm. shall direct your path. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm in a situation now, Mm -hmm. I'm like, God, I trust you in this. Okay, even like the dad who said, my son needs delivered in the Bible, my son needs healed. (laughs) And the Lord said, you know, believe me. And he's like, I believe you, but help my unbelief. Uh It's that same thing. So I just go, you know what? Right now in my own understanding, sometimes I lack, but God, I trust you Mm -hmm. because you are the one that is going to do this. You will follow through. And in all my ways, I'm going to acknowledge you and give you thanksgiving. Thank you that I can trust you. You're a good God. You're faithful. And then he directs my path. So those are just some practical things that for me has helped in such a big way, Mm -hmm. you know, to understand what trust is and to be obedient. And now when it comes, I'm like, nope, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I'm walking in it. I'm speaking it. I'm declaring it. I trust you. You will follow through. But you repented for not trusting. Yes. And you know, uh, a lot of people just every day, they don't. You, we don't recognize what we put our trust in. Like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. the scripture that yeah. we're talking yeah. about yeah. in Psalms mm-hmm. 20 is some trust in horses, some yeah. in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They trusted in chariots and in horses because that was their vehicle. That right. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah, sometimes you get up every morning and don't you trust your car to start and get you to yeah. the grocery yeah. store? 
you know, we put our trust in that, but actually it's God that, that does Amen. everything yeah. that makes all of that move and flow mm -hmm. and <laughs> go. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, I, I know in my life, if you have a problem with trust and, and a lot of people say, well, you just got to trust God. And we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're all aware up here. We never minimize somebody's pain mm -hmm. or say, you just better and you no. shouldn't. No, you we've shouldn't all do been that. there. We can't. And we've mm -hmm. all, yeah. But, and trust is one of the major things in anybody's life. If you've been abused, mm -hmm. if you've been raped, if That's you've right. been, you know, mm -hmm. betrayed by man and all of the above for mm -hmm. me, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when you come into the kingdom, or shall I say, when I came into the kingdom, I did not trust people. Mm -hmm. Too many people had failed me, betrayed me. And like That's Stephanie fair. said, you don't trust in man. No, you right. trust in God. That's right. And, you know, we say, oh, well, that's so simple to say. But no, when I came into the kingdom and I didn't trust man, which was a good thing because I don't, I don't trust any of them. I trust yeah. God. And God moves through everybody, you know. And, and that's who I trust. And so Amen. when they would say, oh, pray and get this or do this deliverance or do that, I thought, no. I always went to God. I didn't get on the phone and call somebody, which right. there's nothing wrong with it. If you got to call a prayer warrior or a person or a, a mentor or whoever you got, that's there's nothing wrong with that. But for me and all of the betrayals and the failures that man had done, God just had to make sure every time I went to him, there was a little more trust, Amen. a little more trust, a little more trust. And that's what God does. We trust in him, not in horses, chariots, cars, tables, mm, houses, right. money, internet. Uh, <laughs> internet. Yeah. All, all We don't trust in any of mm -hmm. that because all, all of this could go down today. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely so everything. And we have to trust in him and just know that God is working that in your heart every mm -hmm. day as you just, as you're learning and as you're growing and don't let the devil beat you up and say, well, you should have trusted him because mm -hmm. that's what he did. You know, you should have trusted. Look at it. I worked out. You know, that's yeah, the kind of things that the right. devil tells you. And then you feel just, oh, you know, but no, you, everything's learned. Everything you learn a mm -hmm. lesson. Mm -hmm. And when you go through something, and you count it a failure, God counts it a lesson, and then he, you just come to a new place in mm -hmm. a new level with him. So mm -hmm. don't ever feel like you've failed or that, right. you know, I have just not trusted God and mm -hmm. he's just been so good. Yeah, he's been good to us. Mm -hmm. All of us haven't trusted him. <laughs> yeah. And he is very good because he'll just keep coming and drawing us by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and teaching us to trust him when he comes and rescues us over and over and over. Amen. Right. It's like us yeah. with our children. We have yeah. to remember mm -hmm. that with God, God always wins. Yeah. We see so much evil in this world. Yeah. But God always wins. That You know, in King David's time, the enemy came into King David's camp when he and all of his men were out of the camp. Mm -hmm. And they kidnapped all the women, all the children, mm -hmm. so and evil. took absolutely That's everything that mm -hmm. David did owned mm -hmm. his own men came against him well the majority of christians the majority of people would come against you know would say oh lord oh lord it's all over i've lost everything i'm desolate i'm I, you, you've forsaken me i'll never make it oh no not david yeah mm -hmm. what did david do <laughs> he encouraged yeah. himself in, in the Lord. Lord. Yeah. He reminded himself, Self. just like you can, That's good, yeah. of all the times That's that good. God yeah. came mm -hmm. through for him. Mm -hmm. He never let him down. That's right. And and God is a way maker. Mm -hmm. If God could part the Red Sea, mm -hmm. you know, if He can make all of the heavens shine. You think he can't take care of your little right. problem? Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Nothing it's so too good. Good. difficult yeah. for God. Yeah. That's right. And you know, the first thing that we should do when we're under attack is just go in a room and put on some praise music Amen. and just start mm -hmm. praising mm -hmm. the Lord. Why would we be joyful at a time like that? Yeah. Because we know our God. That's right. And we know that the sooner we trust him, the sooner his arm moves, and bam, it's amazing. Yeah. That's right. Sometimes I'm in a situation, I think, 
There's no answer to this. I know God can't. I mean, the other things, yes, but this one is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and But he does. Yeah. You know, you, you walk in the next morning, you wake up and you go, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. How can it yeah. be gone? Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing, too, is so important for all of us is that when you have a problem, get a scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. the scriptures mm -hmm. are yeah. yes and amen. And when you speak that that scripture, just like some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in mm -hmm. the name of the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. yeah. He always, always, always comes, comes through. through. And and the devil, he comes to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. It's very in easy to see our God. Because he always wants the best for us. Yeah, he loves right. you so much that whatever you're going through, it's just a test mm -hmm. to make you stronger, to bring you victory. Yeah. So yeah. everybody say, with God, I win. I win. With God, I win. And all things right. are possible. That's right. We always win. Yeah, he causes us do. always mm -hmm. to triumph. This is oh, yeah. Amen. Right? And yes. when, he, when we get tested by God to trust him, now God will never mm -hmm. tempt us, but he does test us. Mm -hmm. And even in the Old Testament in Numbers where when they were going through the desert, he said, I mm -hmm. did this and had all of this to see if you trusted me and what was in your heart, are you going to trust the Lord God mm -hmm. that you know, has done all these things. You know, how many how many people, even when they went in uh, and conquered Joshua and them in the land, they go, oh, they were re reminding him of all yeah. the things. We know your God parted to Your God did this. Your God right. did that. Because mm -hmm. everybody hears about it. Mm -hmm. And we're telling you that what has happened, and we're shouting at what our God has done and what he will continue to do. You just trust him. I'm telling you, he will part Red Seas. That's he right. Will, you, you will walk on water, baby. I mean, <laughs> he will do it, but you have to trust mm -hmm. him. And because like Lana said, he always does win. And the thing is, is that, you know, the word over and over says, you know, uh, that nothing, nothing is impossible with God for mm -hmm. those who what believe. believe so you yeah. have to believe and you have to trust right. and and i know that sounds so easy those two little words mm. but those two words are big when they're it's played right. out when it's they're right. played out they're it's, big yeah. <laughs> um, they're big words and what i love about that is jesus is the greatest example yeah. of what trust is yeah. <coughs> because yeah. we know that in matthew 26 39 yeah um, when he was faced with knowing that it, his time was soon to go to the cross, mm -hmm. said he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as yeah. your will. And he was putting his perfect trust in his heavenly Father mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. what was coming were, were beatings, mm -hmm. were um, stripes that he would take. He sweat blood. You know, um, all the rejection, oh. all the torment, all the abuse, all the lies, all the disease, all the brokenness, but his body mm -hmm. suffered. He suffered inside and out and outside and in mm -hmm. beyond recognition. And he had to say, Father, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I, try, I lay this down, even though my disciples that were to be praying with mm -hmm. me at this very hour fell asleep. I cannot trust them to follow through right now, but I can trust you that even in this situation that looks bleak and scary and mm -hmm. all those things that he took on, he had to say, your will be done. And mm -hmm. many times in those circumstances where you just think, I don't know, God, I don't know how you'll fix this. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you'll turn it around. Lord, your will be done, which yeah. your will be done means God always wins. Yeah. That that he, it says he laughs in the heavens at the enemy because he already knows victory has been won. Mm -hmm. And Jesus followed through with trust. And we know with the joy set before him, Sorry. died on the cross. Yeah. But he left all the stuff we've been talking about where we don't trust, all the brokenness there. And he came out of that tomb full of life and life more abundantly, mm -hmm. declaring, you can trust me mm -hmm. because I trust my father. Mm -hmm. you and know? trust is when you're not doing it on your own behalf and yeah. you're not doing it yeah. in your own strength. strength. And, and that's what trust 
comes from that. You know, uh, one of the scriptures that we stand on and that um, I decree is roll your works upon me mm. and I will cause your thoughts to be become agreeable with my will. Mm. So shall your plans be established. So it's all about rolling everything upon him. Everything has got to be done in him, through him, for him. And when those things are like that, then trust is just a product of all that. It's just, it equals all yeah. of those things when okay. you're not doing it on your own. And you know, another scripture that I stand on, and, and I'll tell you, these, these scriptures in times, and I've said this over and over, when, when the devil comes and tries to pull you to the left and to the right and you're having the biggest battle of your life and, and it's hard to stand and hard to stay up and because he comes at us with some big stuff, but greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. And so one of the things that I speak, because then the Holy Spirit on those scriptures breathes on it and pushes you right into the place you need to be and you're not being tugged to and mm -hmm. fro with every wind and wave of doctrine you're standing strong because there was scripture that was mm -hmm. breathed on by the holy ghost okay. which is poem the breath of life he brings everything to life and they push you in and that's why when lana said get a scripture yes. when the girls say get a scripture and mm -hmm. i say get a scripture i mean get a scripture that yes. god says yes. to you and let the holy spirit it's have connected. something to breathe on yeah and and it's uh we walk not in the council of the ungodly nor stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful but our delight Amen. is in the law of the lord mm -hmm. and in Amen. your law do we meditate Amen. day and night and we are like trees planted by rivers of water that bring forth our fruit yes. and our season and our leaf also will not weather and whatsoever we do shall prosper okay. ever Amen. we do shall prosper mm -hmm. that's one of the scriptures i've stood on for mm -hmm. a long time because you don't want to walk in mm -hmm. the counts of the ungodly yeah. you don't want to sit in the seat of the scornful no. your delight has to be in the lord and then it all equals trust mm -hmm. Right. That's right. All you're and when you said, him. get a scripture, it said in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So when yes. you get a scripture, you're literally getting God. Yeah. And yeah. so it says, trust in the Lord your God, right? So yeah. if we're not trusting a church, we're not trusting the horses, we're trusting the Lord our God. When you're trusting and uh, grabbing a scripture, you're mm -hmm. literally trusting in God because the word is God, yes. it says. Yes. Yes. So yes. it's not just saying, oh, I'm just trusting a, you know, a, a sentence. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. it's God. It's yes. living. It says that the word is living. It's active. Yes. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. So you're literally mm -hmm. taking the most powerful weapon that God gives you, and you are chopping off the heads of demons of everything Amen. in your in your way, in your path. It's powerful. And that's how trust it. is built, mm -hmm. because what does it say in Psalms? I don't know, 27 or 20 or 21. Let me see. I, I think I had it written down. I don't know. It's somewhere over there. Okay. Uh, Psalms 27. And, and unless, unless, and this is why many of you, battle unless the lord build the house the yes. labor is in vain That's yeah. right. yes and let him build you let him build mm -hmm. that trust and don't let the devil come and as soon as you get this high knock it all down with all well, right. you should have and could have and would have and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff it's all a lie just mm -hmm. so he can get you to detour again That's right. and not trust in god yeah mm -hmm. he just comes and mocks and laughs mm -hmm. how far you always go because that's what he wants he wants to make sure you don't get to your next level mm -hmm. he wants to make sure of it yes, of course yeah that's you right. know i remember when the doctor told me that i had fourth stage cancer and it spread all over what, like last my month? respiratory system <laughs> yeah a few months ago April. and, and Seriously. you know what comes in at first is depression but then Jesus. god Thank spoke you. and god said practice what, what you, you preach. preach. Yes. That's so yep. big. Yep. He's told me that before so too. <laughs> oh my yes. goodness. You know, and what, that yep. reality yep. hits yes. us. All of a sudden Lana. it's like, wow, yeah, mm -hmm. God's going to come through. Yeah. And they said you had less than a 1% chance to live. Yeah, 1%. Yes. Yeah. That's April huge. 2020. Yeah. And that was just six months ago we said? Yeah, April. <laughs> and God, and tell them how you are now. How are you are now? Oh, I'm fine now. I'm strong. I'm <laughs> yes. You're healed. Right? And, yes. and you know what's exciting? To know that when they say cancer, the word cancer, it means, oh my God, death cancer. Sentence. They hear death, death, death sentence. But cancer is only a demon. That's right. And it bows all to the, the name of the demons Lord. demons are under our feet. And you, I'd like I to have just, a taping today and just talk about I agree. that. Yeah. And, I and agree. what I want to do yeah. is I want I you to give it. them the regimen. You yeah. know what I find funny? That God had you take a dog dewormer and then you had a PET scan and the PET scan showed that. Ah! <laughs> 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 
That's oh. because they're called PET scans. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no pun no, intended. No, we need to do that. So. Yeah, but we're going to do that. Yeah. But anyways, go ahead and you, finish what you're You yet. know, we, we talk about <coughs> trusting God. And in the book of Daniel, yes. there's the three Hebrew children yeah. who the King Nebuchadnezzar put out an edict throughout the land that everyone was to bow their knee mm -hmm. to the golden idol. But there were three children teenage boys who love the Lord so much they said no we won't do it we won't follow our man and they and this was interesting this is what they said they said we we will not bow our knee because we believe that God will deliver us mm -hmm. yeah but if he doesn't yeah. You know, I mean, what's the worst yeah. case scenario? You're going to heaven. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. If you're a child of God, and we're not all children of, of the Most High God, mm -hmm. you have to take that step. Charlene will do a prayer at the end of the, of the mm -hmm. of this meeting, and and that she will lead you to a prayer that where you invite Jesus to come into your heart. But you know, every single one of us have some kind of uh, fiery furses, fr mm -hmm. uh, fiery um, Furnace. furnaces mm -hmm. that the Hebrew children, mm -hmm. they literally mm -hmm. had to go into the furnace. Mm -hmm. and But they, God delivered them. And we don't have time to hear about it, but, but we all have uh, our Red Sea our our giants, our yes, Goliaths in, in our mm -hmm. in our lives, and God, He just wants our lives so happy, and that you right. have to say, "I know God will deliver me." Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. And with that, God will deliver you, but you mm -hmm. got to call on His name. And for those, you know, some of you may be backslidden today. Hey, he wants you back. You know, yeah. uh, there's been so many people that have said, listen, I, I've done this too many times. And, and, you know, because you get so low, the devil wants to make you feel like that. But listen, God wants you back. You backsliders. Yes. He says, in his word, I call the backslider mm -hmm. back to me. And so, anyways, he wants you back. And then those who have never, ever even knew Jesus. I mean, there's so many people out there, you think in America that, that, oh, they just, they've heard about Jesus. I mean, it's America. I mean, and there's so many people that have never heard about him in mm -hmm. America right mm -hmm. now. That sounds so odd, but listen, I've experienced it yeah. over and over oh, yeah. and it, he wants you to know him today. That's and you right. just got to call on his name. He said, everybody who calls on my name shall be saved. Not maybe kind of, sort of. He right. came while we were yet sinners. He don't care what you're doing right now, what you've done. That's you right. know, many people say, Oh, I've been too bad. He doesn't want me. He wants you. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. He wants you. He took me when I was a total stone mess. And I'm like, who would want this? But he did, and he made something great. And God is so good, and he wants to do that for you. And you, just, you have to ask him to come into your life, to be the Lord of your life and forgive you of your sin. And he'll come in, and it'll be such a great journey. And then ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. If you did that, call our prayer lines right here behind my head. Please go to our website today. Get some anointing oil or a painting or something over there. we got a new spray anointing anointing oil that's fabulous. You can wear it as a perfume or anointing oil. And it helps us keep coming in your home and around the world with the gospel mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. It's only goodbye for today. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View.